Okay, this is a proposal for development on the isotropic kite system that uh, I've been discussing recently. And so here you've got a tripod of tethers, you've got a front, I guess on your side that's the right, and a front left, and a back line. So with um, loading on a kite, your two front tethers are going to be tight, the back is going to go fairly loose, you'd want that tightened in on the ground with a, a drill. Um, a winch, sorry, uh, controlled reel there. And uh, a full isotropic setup where you've got multiple lifters, that back one would end up going higher and your back lifter would be higher as shown on the, the sides. Now what I've got here um, is a, a rod going through the node. We've just got one single lifter on this one. I'll, I'll show you the ground. So you've got three points on the ground. One, another one back there, another one there. And on this point, this point here, what you'd be doing is you'd be, mount you'd be mounting a kite up on this disc. So if we zoom in on that a bit, um, all I've got is a, a wheel there, a roller blade wheel and three bits. Some bungee um, onto each of the tether lines. Now what that does, that affects, imagine we had that stretched out, that affects uh, how the rod goes through through here. It, it, it'll move either on the bottom, from the bottom point, it adjusts into the average of, of the pull of these tethers. So the kite mounted on here is always wanted to pull directly upwards, okay? So if this plate tilts or if the rod is moved because of how the tethering is, then we can affect the lines that you pull on the on the kite and thus steer the kite. So if you've got a kite, like say this lifter here, uh, that I've been using previously, and let's go on it a couple of lines, uh, center, a mid, and uh, sorry, yeah, a center, a left, and a right, and you get that isotropic lifter node to slightly adjust, just like it did with the, the remote control and the very small servo. If you're slightly adjusting, the left with respect to uh, vertical, if you, know, if, if you need to go that way, then you can set the kite to always match how the rig is pointing. So imagine the rig is pointing slightly to, the, to that side, you'd want the kite to be pointing out you know, along that line. So you use this effect to pull slightly differentially on one line as compared to the other. As the, as the line is wanting to go straight up, and that's pointing that side, then the line on the far side is going to be pulled slightly more. It's going to be pulling against that rod, or you could you know, actuate it from the bottom. And keep the kite pointing in the direction of the node as you want it, uh, in the, the mesh balancing.